Hello, hello, can you all hear me? Welcome to the live stream. I'm guessing you can, obviously there's going to be a bit of a lag uh, between what I'm doing and what you guys see. So just let me know in the chat if you can hear my voice. There we go. Just messing around with my settings. Obviously this is the first time that I've done this, first time I've gone live. It's like a 20 second delay now. You can hear me. Brilliant. Brilliant, everyone can hear me. Right, so the next test is to see if you can see me. So we have to transition. There we go. You should be all able to see me now. Is that happening? We're live. So I've got to check the chat. That's why I keep looking to the left because that's where my laptop is. I've figured out that I can put my phone up here and there was a bit of software, there was an app which allows the phone to talk to the computer on the same network um, and then it, so it sort of goes over the Wi-Fi and then obviously it goes up to YouTube and does things up there. Cool, so loads of people in the chat, you can see me, brilliant, that's fantastic. Uh, Simon, Charles Canadian, the President, hello, welcome. Ibrahim, welcome. Adrian, Scale Modeling Kit, Harrison Gale, Charles again, Roth, uh, who else? Model Man. Got loads of people in the chat. We've got 42 people watching. Um, so I guess you've all come here for one reason. Um, I'm very quiet. I am very quiet. Okay. How about if I do that? Is that better? Is is the is the audio better now? Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Obviously there's a lag, so whatever I do then um takes a while for you guys to see it. I've had to move my microphone closer. It was a little bit far away. Um so hopefully this is better now. Is that, there we go. Roth asks if I like budgies. As in the birds, I've never had one, so I couldn't really say. Nice model display, thank you, Harrison. Yep, I've got my, um, just over here, just off screen, is my Lancaster, and there's my GoPro that I filmed some of my videos on, and that's my MiG-21, which is from Frog, and then behind it is the Mr. Craft P-51B. Better much better so it just was the fact that the microphone was a little bit far away uh, from my face just needed to be closer um, cool so yeah like I said so this evening um, oh that's what I didn't do this evening what I was going to do I was going to get up on screen um, how many sort of um, what are they called donations how many donations we've had because obviously I set out to do um, like a charity event in order to raise funds for the force cancer um, charity support. Um, there it is. I've, we're at two hundred and fifty pounds at the moment. Um, so the whole point of that, um, my head shaving. I, I mean, I know I'm, I made it in the other video that you probably saw it, but I'm going to shave my head this evening. Um, completely it's all going and you can watch it you can see it you can you can be here for that and I had been thinking about doing some charity work for them for a while um, I never really got round to it and obviously with the whole crisis that's happening now we're not really allowed outside and stuff so I thought this was probably the most appropriate sort of way of doing it um, but before we get into that, I thought I'd do a bit of a and a session with you, just chat with you in the, um, in the stream, uh, see how you're doing, and then we'll move on to actually the main event. I've got my trip trimmers here. Uh, they're ready to go. I charged them up. So shouldn't have any issues. I haven't tested them on myself. So if this goes terribly wrong, this is going to make my head look terrible. Um, 
so let's take a look at who's here what we got going on um, is the Lancaster my favourite? I don't know. I'm not sure if my Lancaster's the favourite. I mean, it's one, of, it's one of my best. It's one of the best ones I've ever built. Um, I spent, you know, three weeks building it, so it's one of them, I'd say. Um, but I don't know if it's my favourite. I don't know if I have a favourite. You got the Ravel British Legends set yesterday, and it includes the same Lancaster. Brilliant. I think it comes with a Hurricane and Spitfire as well. Um... How long have I played War Thunder? I've played War Thunder since it started, I think. Um, or just shortly after. Um, you think we can get to... Harrison thinks we can get to £500. I only set out for 100 but <laughs> he seems to think we can get to 500 So maybe the um, donation um, ends in the end of May. So you've got another month yet before I'll start sending the money to them and I'll have finished this, I thought. Because obviously not everybody gets to see my videos straight away so it makes sense that you know if people watch it later on they still have the opportunity to uh, contribute if they feel I want to um, Annabelle says hi hello Annabelle Are you watching 250 pounds shave it shave it shave it yep it's all coming off could you possibly do modding live streams on this software yes I could I've got stuff planned um, me and Moz are actually looking at doing a joint uh, live stream together. Uh, I need to get back to him with stuff in my stash. I haven't had a chance to look through my stash and suggest to him something that we could build together. Um, but I have got an idea for a quick video to do or a live stream to do at another point where you can see me building it. Um, I thought it'd be a bit of fun. So stick around for that. It's not going to happen today. It might be at some point later in the week. Um, have I ever given up on a project? Yes, I have. I've got a Academy Cutty Sark in my garage, which I started probably about 10 years ago and painted like the hull and that was it. That's as far as I got. I mean, I might come back to it, but I haven't finished it. Um, okay, cool. YouTube is telling me that it's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Has it stopped for you guys, is it? Are we having issues? Well, my software's still fine. It could have just been a blip in the in the internet there. It seems to be back now. Are you all back? Uh, average Canadian guy's building the Ravel Dambusters Lancaster. It has the same, yeah, it comes with the same, but it's just got extra uh, bits. Um, am I going to build an F-86? I've got the F-86 from Trumpeter in the stash, but the last vote everybody did, the poll, all voted for the Junkers 87 from Ravel, and I've made a start on it. If you're a patron of mine over on Patreon, you'll already have um, seen my progress, but that's where I'm up to. I've more or less built it, and I've started painting it, so that's where I'm up to on that one. It's quite nice because you can see the engine detail. Not that there's much, because this kit dates from like the 60s and 70s. Right, what else have we got? It glitched, but it's all okay. Cool. What is my laptop? My laptop is a really old one now. It was like a top-end gaming laptop from 2011, but now it isn't. Um, obviously, because it's like 10 years old. Uh, what's the most out there type of model I've ever made? Do you mean um, like bizarre or not something that I would make for myself? Not sure. I've got like a S Enterprise, you know, the um, the spaceship. I've got one of those sort of half built somewhere, but um, I haven't finished it. Are you planning on using a HDMI to USB K capture card for streaming? No, I'm not planning on using that. I'm currently using my phone, which goes via the Wi-Fi with an app to my computer, which it then goes into the computer and then goes off to YouTube. Have I ever done model figures? I've not done figures in like a sense that they're their own model. I've done them as, you know, like additions to dioramas or model trains, but they're not, you know, they're like the little tiny figures. I haven't done anything big. Um, did I appreciate? Yeah, I appreciated on my Junkers 87 just to give it an idea because it's got raised panel lines rather than recessed ones, so a wash won't really work on that. Um, 
what is my favourite model company? It swings and roundabouts. I mean, obviously, Airfix is very popular here in the UK because it's the most common. Um, they're in or they're in every model shop and some toy shops. So Ravel will be the next one up. Um, I quite like how Airfix used to have a club and they used to be quite, you know, they had quite a good community thing going on. But um, I don't know. I like this trumpeter f86 i've seen that's really good i've got some italeri ones i've got um what else i've got i mean the mr craft ones i've got them but they're you know not the best quality in the world um would you consider painting like a like a head like a like a bust of a head um maybe i don't necessarily think that i'd be any good at painting um you know figures i'm much better at objects than i am at figures any tips for applying the Ravel decals? Um, just be really careful. Um, I've had some which have been really bad to use, um, such as the ones on the Tempest, I think they were. They were really horrible and they just broke into pieces, but the more recent stuff works fine. I've never built an Edouard kit, Adrian, unfortunately, but hopefully in the future. Most of my kits come online, or if I go past a model shop, I'll go in and help support them. I haven't really got a set model shop that I go to. Airfix Club was supposed to relaunch this, no, it was supposed to relaunch in 2019, but I guess Airfix never got around to it because it still says it's coming like this year. So your guess is as good as mine. You have the Ravel BF109 G10. Is that in 172nd or 148? Let's just see, right. What else have I missed? Who else has sent me the message here? Oh no, we're all there. We're all up to date. The new Tamiya 148 Spitfire Mark 1. Yes, I've heard good things about that, Simon. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I would like to get that one. It looks really good. Um, but as, a, as yet, not in my stash. I've got loads of stuff in the stash I need to build before I really justify building. Uh, I mean, buying more kits at the moment. Hello Mars Bar 709, welcome to the stream. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to give you like a break screen in a minute with some with some music and I'm going to relocate to the bathroom and I'm going to set up the camera there. Uh, you'll notice probably a change in audio quality because um, I will change from my microphone plugged into my computer to the microphone on my phone which will be lower so you should still be able to hear me but I won't be able to see your comments at that point because I won't be at my computer so I'll just be shaving my head in there and talking to you about it as I do it. What website do I use the most? I use Scalemates probably to check the research of my kits but for buying it's probably Amazon. Um, you want the Spitfire Mark 5, 6, 7, 8, the Spitfire Mark 8 from Edward. I bet that's going to be a pretty awesome kit. I do have an F86, it's in 1 to 144 scale. Would I consider doing 132? Yep, I would, not a problem. You just finished the, sh the interior of your C47, that sounds pretty cool. Is that a new tooling? The BF109 is 148 scale. Oh, it's probably around the same age as the Spitfire Mark II that I built. How long will the wait be? It won't be long, probably in about 10 minutes. I'm going to go and trim my hair. The way I sort of planned it was I'd start the stream at 6, I'd talk to you for a bit, then I would go and shave my head. That was the plan. I'm just going to see if I can get this up on the screen actually, so you can see my current um, pledge level. Let's see if I can do that. So just clicking new scenes around, you should still be able to see me and hear me but I'm going to add, add, where is it? Let's see if we can do this. we we'll take that, put that in the software. Has that worked? No. Remove that. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. Remove that one. Oh, no, it came up. Look at that. For 
some reason it's square. Let's try this again. Add a new source. Uh, be window window capture. Add that. Add source. And change it to be no. It can be done, but I'm clicking the wrong buttons here, obviously. Oh well, I'm at 250. I'm currently at 250. If you'd like to contribute, take a look at the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Right, where are we? There we go. The FXC47 will be interior will be really good. It's got full interior, great detail. Unfortunately, it's not cheap. You've had to say, I can imagine. I imagine that'd be quite an expensive one. Lucas, thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm sorry that you're not going to be able to see me get my head shaved, but you'll be able to watch this back later and see the whole event. Um, yep, schools in the UK are currently shut unless you're a key worker. You can send your kids to school for that. Um, hopefully more yeah hopefully we'll get some more get some more we've got 48 people watching hello everybody it's coming off don't worry it's all gonna come off I'm gonna cut it off in a minute you're gonna see it happen I do a nice job with my videos you and Sophie try and catch the premieres well I appreciate that thank you for turning up will I miss my hair yes I'm probably gonna miss it I'm definitely going to miss it. I've been numbing and ahhing today. Like, when I came up with the idea to do it, I thought to myself, oh, this will be easy. This isn't a problem. I'm not attached to my hair at all. But then, like, I obviously went and told people. I made the video about it. I put it on social media. And I, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's not an issue. It's, it's fine. You know, it's, and it's like a week away. And then today I've been like, oh, I've got to cut my hair off today. It's going to be weird. I'm going to look weird. It's going to be like an identity change. I'm not going to necessarily recognize myself in the mirror. Um... The benefit will be that I won't have to brush it, and I'll probably use less conditioner and shampoo, so I'll save money there. And as the summer's coming, I won't get so hot. I just will look different. F for my hair. Yep, let's get an F in the chat. Poor me. Favorite war movies? Um, don't know. Like Saving Private Ryan and stuff like that. You know quite good but I'm kind of into sci-fi more than anything at the moment I've been watching um, The Mandalorian on Disney Plus that's good I'll be okay it grows quick yeah yeah it has grown quite quick actually I normally get a haircut every, every month to six weeks so it's been a bit longer than that I don't like it being this long um, but it is now I have I have sort of purposely been holding off doing this I thought to myself like at the beginning of the week when these trimmers came that I should do it there and then and get it done um, but I didn't and I obviously waited until today to do it it's Friday isn't it sunburnt skull yep gonna get a sunburnt skull probably if I go outside much but you know modelers don't tend to go outside much unless you're modeling outside have I watched red tails yes I have seen red tails that's like um, George Lucas's it's like Star Wars but in World War Two isn't it it's like if you based a World War Two film on a Star Wars film that's what he did with that but he you, he originally based Star Wars off of like a World War Two film and there's a lot of actual scenes sort of shot for shot uh, like for the Dam Busters as well in Star Wars have I bought a hat nope I don't have a hat I'm probably gonna get burnt 1917 I've not seen that yet favorite kit not sure I have built a lot of kits. Um, the Lancaster was quite good, but it took me like three weeks to build, and I lost motivation halfway through as well. Uh, you can't get your hair cut. It's going to get really long. Yeah, maybe you can get yourself a pair of clippers online. These weren't expensive. They were about £20. They came with... Um, I'll show you what they came with, actually, if I can find my little bag. Obviously, they came with, like, a charging thing. What have we got here? So I've got a little bag. It's just a cheap little black bag. Dunkirk, yeah, it was a good movie. A bit weird in places with the timing and the fact that it keeps going backwards and forwards. But yeah, it was all right. And, well, the, the fact that the Spitfire seemed to shoot, like, every single plane in the German Luftwaffe down. 
So we got some sort of attachment thing there, um, and then a little brush for cleaning it, and also one, two, three, four, and then plus the one I've already got on it, five. So five attachments, and these are all in millimeters. So the first one I've got on here is a nine millimeter. Um, trimmer. And I thought I'd start off on that so my hair will go down to 9 millimeters. but then I thought I would go lower so I've got a 1 millimeter one here and I don't think I'll go that low I think that'd be too low um, I've got a 2 millimeter one a 3 millimeter one and a 5 millimeter one so I'm going to start off at 9 and then I'm thinking that I will go down to the 3 does that sound... Is that a nose trimmer, is it? All right. Does that sound like a good idea? Go from the 9 all over to then a 3mm at the end. Everyone's been... Oh, I've missed all your messages there as I was talking about this. Um, Steve is working on his F18, and you can send that into my subscriber showcase if you want to. Um, what else have I missed? 20 quid to see it all go. Yeah, it's all going to go. I'm not going to like get a um, razor on it though. I'm not going to like wet shave it because if I don't really want to run the risk of getting like ingrown hair on my head because that'd be so hard to remove. Where are we up to? So currently, update. We have got, it's just refreshing, 250 still. 250. Yep, great idea. I'm not waxing it off. It has been suggested. Thanks, Mars Bar. Thanks for turning up. You can catch my bald head later, I'm sure. Um, three is a bit high. Two. A two millimeter bit. You all want to go down to two. Straight to the wood. I don't know about that. Uh, well, there's the two millimeter bit. I'll put that to the side. Use Gillette. I have got Audi Special, I think. Audi Special hair. Um, no, shaving foam. Um, yeah, no, it was suggested to me that I should wax it, and I was like, no. And they were like, wax it from the length you've got it now. And I was, I was like, that's not happening. That's not happening in the slightest. Uh, usually get a two when you go for a haircut. Yeah, I normally get a two, but the numbers, like if you go in and you say, I want a one or a two, uh, they don't actually match up to these bits that came with the trimmer. Um, so I think a two millimeter. No, not two. A number two haircut is like six millimeters, I think, because I did some research on it. And a number one is a three. So technically, if I went for a three, I'd be having a number one. Give the video 30 likes. Waxing is way too painful. Yes. Yes, it is. Gillette sponsorship. Ha! <laughs> Airfix Harrier GR1. I built the old Airfix one, the 1970s one. That's funny, Steve. That's funny. Cool. Well, it's coming up to half past six now, I think. So I probably should think about relocating to the bathroom so that we can do it in there. I'll have to put sunscreen on my head. Yes, I probably will. I will have to do that. Oh, well. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on to have a little break, and then I'm going to relocate to the, um, to the bathroom. So I will see you all in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Mods, make sure no one leaves. Lock the doors. Keep everyone inside the theatre. Cool. I'll see you in a minute.
say? Right, yes. So you can all see me, but the sound quality might not be so good because you're on the camera. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plug in and then take the hair out later on. I probably, can't, I probably need to get down here, don't I? At what point? What point can you see me? Yeah, I need to get down here. Well, I need to get down here and do it. Cool. So. I'm oh, guessing, like, I was thinking about starting on the side and going up like that way, um, or just going over the top and just going all off like that. Um, it's going to be weird. I'm, I'm probably going to start from the sides, I think, and go up that way. Let's try to do that. I'm, I'm on the nine, and then I'll go down to the. Um, I've got the two here. No, that's a one. I need the two. I'm going down to the one. That's crazy. That's insane. You can all see me. So shall we just crack on with it? Yeah. It's not too bad actually. I could become a hairdresser. You know, if I've done this in a video, I could have done a time lapse. I, I know I've charged this like the whole way, but I, I hope that it keeps its charge because otherwise I'm just going to look weird. Oh, that's weird. That's so weird seeing it all go. Getting the angle as well, doing it one handed. There's a lot of hair coming off there. This is where we see my receding hairline. I'll put a vacuum cleaner in here in a minute. And before anyone suggests, no, I'm not going to do my eyebrows. Oh, that's so weird. It's not bad though. She's got to be back now. And I'll pull it down the shoulders. There we go. Not very good left hand, is it this? Got the back to do that. I might have to stand up. So if I go out of frame, that's where I've gone. I've gone to do the back. Here we soak now.
I can't see my back either, so if I do a terrible job of it, I'll have to come back and do it again. There we go, where are we up to now? And that all over there? Uh, missed a bit there. That's bad, we finished. Alright, see, nearly there. Nearly there was the first bit. If you go in the same direction as the hair, it doesn't quite work so well. You get it all over the floor. I've got like a little tuck there. It needs to be got rid of. There we go. There we go. It's much harder on your own. No, just blow it all up a bit there. Number nine all over. So let's flick that out. Clean that off a bit. Get the hair out. And go down a bit further to the two millimeters. I've got hair all down my neck now, I can feel it. Not bad, it's not a bad job. Not a bad job there. But let's keep going, put all over my arms. I must have a shower after this. Well, that's like a proper difference there, isn't it? You can see the difference. So if I've gone straight down to this, so having all that hair. There we go, come on. Yeah. I missed a bit, that jump. I'm going to keep it pressing down. Oh, that feels weird. Oh, that feels so weird. It's like one of them mats you get. Like for your feet when you come into the house. I've got a weird shape head now. My head's like, that bit's all like almost black and this bit's like pink. I hope some people don't hate to go I've been doing this. They will know how long it takes for hair to grow back. There we 
Kerajaan Kesejahteraan I found that was easy to do. You can't really go with the grain of your hair either if you go back to it. You're definitely going to miss a bit. Nothing there already. Oh, all that hair there. All that hair. I must have missed a bit. I'll have to come back over it and check it when I've probably got the neck there. I'll have to do the edges as well. Look, I missed it there down here, it's like a long bit. I'll have to go around the edges of that. Cool. What do we think? Do we stay at a two? I'll have to come and check the chat. So stay there, don't go anywhere.
so much hair in there. Right, well, can you all hear and see me again? That's, we should be back, should be back now. Um, let's just get rid of that. And we shall take a quick look at, um, what, oh wow, I can see myself on the on the screen here. Yeah, it's all right, there's a bit there I need to do. I need to go back over that bit and that bit there maybe. It's all right, it's okay. I feel lighter. I feel hairier, like here, all around my neck. I can feel that. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Cool. Very awesome thing. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you for turning up. Thank you very much, everybody. Well done. Thank you. So this is it. This is me at number uh, two. If um, a number one was a thing, I'd do that off, off camera later because... You don't need to see me cut my hair again, do you? Thank you very much, Shane. 
let's see how much I've got. 252 at the moment. So thank you to everybody who's uh, contributed. Link is down below if you'd like to donate as well. But I set out to be set out for only 100 pounds, and now we've gone 100. And, well, one and a half times, two two and a half times that. My maths is terrible. We've got 250 quid basically, so 150 pounds over what I set out to achieve. Good work, thank you, thank you. It looks good, thanks. It's done all right. I've done an all right job of cutting all my hair off. <laughs> I haven't cut myself, so that's a benefit. Thank you. When am I going to start the sub? Oh, like the submarine? Uh, not sure. I've got a couple of submarines to start, so. Looks quite good, thank you. Good job, great. Yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it like this now. What do we reckon? Just leave it without hair like that. Maybe I should grow a beard. Bold with a beard? Ideas? Who am I? Adrian, thank you. Yes, I'm the same person. Awesome. Suits me. It's, does it suit me really? Amazing. Wow, you know. It's really itchy now, though. I need to get in the shower. <laughs> it's so itchy. It feels so weird. That feels so weird. Not having anything there, you know? It is easier, yes. No, I'm not doing eyebrows. No, I said that earlier. I'm not doing eyebrows. I need them to keep the sweat out of my eyes and also to display emotion. Thank you, average Canadian guy. Thank you so much for donating. Thank you to everyone who's donated. A bit of polish. Yep, a bit of polish and it'll look good. No beard. <laughs> Do a <my> beard. <laughs> uh, uh, funny. <laughs> Wife says no. <laughs> uh, she says no. I think I'd look good with a beard, though. Bread. Get some bread. I can put some bread on there. Not a problem. Eyebrow. No, I'm keeping the eyebrows. Eyebrows are mine. They belong to me. You will look like the guy from Breaking Bad. Fantastic. So let's just do one final check. 252 still. Thank you very much, everybody who donated. I'm not going to a one, I don't think. I don't think people were particularly keen on going to a one. I could go to a one off camera and then show, show you a picture in my community stream. Um, community posts and also on Facebook and Instagram. There is a lot of hair in my sink which I now need to clean out and possibly, you know, hoover as well. You're not allowed to remove your beard. Hilarious. I know, yeah. The power of females. Cool. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for turning up and watching me shave my hair off. I've had, what, we've got 25 people watching. I think that's like the most I've ever had in a stream. Um, next build video, I don't know. Uh, scale modeling kits, I'm not sure because I haven't edited it yet. I probably should because it's Saturday, Friday. Yeah, I need to make some videos. I'm a little bit behind. I've been busy. I've still had work to do, so um, I've done some building, but I haven't done any build videos. I have got stuff ready to edit. I just need to edit it. So perhaps that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'll do some editing tomorrow. Keep it as a two. Yeah, I think so. Um, there will be live streams of builds and things to come, so stay tuned for that. And thank you very much everybody who has turned up um, you're at 35 and I'm shaving fantastic uh, so if you haven't already liked the stream please leave a like if you want to follow me on social media uh, I'm on a variety of different platforms all the links are in the description not much short no don't go shorter it's not worth it there's no difference between a one and a two I'll see you later Thanks for turning up. Uh, if you're if you're new here and you're not subscribed, subscribe, please.
so you can see more videos, more builds, more things like this perhaps in the future. Um, thanks for turning up everybody. I will see you on the workbench and not my bathroom next time. <laughs>